hey guys welcome back to my channel so we are back with another installation process so node.js so most of you don't know node that is node javascript language is the leading language that is used as a backend tool right now so we have other uh, what do you say uh, backend languages like python uh, fast api or you can say typescript typescript js similar to node.js we have so many backend languages so but at the basic level you should start with the node.js that is node javascript for the backend language so node javascript is mostly used in i don't know netflix i have seen somewhere netflix and facebook uh, all these things and uh, it is basically backend for mainly for uh, front end react native language so we use react native for the front end development and node.js is used as back end for the react you can use some other languages as front end keeping back end node.js so why node.js is used node.js is used just uh, what do you say if you if your project or whatever the code that is being written does not have any complexity so assuming you are just uh, showing the user some data and just getting the user this is how things if you are uh, forming a complex process where you have to show some uh, display of hotels or display of flights or anything such cases so no js is not an option just to highlight the simplest solution no js was developed so you can you those who are willing to learn no js and for react so as a front end and no js as a back end so first you have to install the no js in your windows so uh so most of you don't know so ubuntu is ubuntu is most preferable for learning but node js in windows will be looking into that process okay so first thing i'm going to open my google chrome okay just type node js install okay once you click on node js install there will be a website called node js.org node js.org once you open that you will get a platform and node js downloads column will be there. you can just click on the downloads column so select the windows installer okay once you click on windows and automatically the dot msi file will be downloaded okay uh, it is hardly 38 mb you can just download the entire thing once downloaded click on it so the installation process starts okay uh, just as usual click on next okay next i accept next uh basically i prefer a different storage apart from my c you whatever the preferred storage you guys prefer you can store it in that way so i have i'm choosing my personal d storage so once that is done so you can just click on next 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 and finally install if you don't want automatic updates if you don't want automatic updates necessary tools or anything uh you can just uncheck the box and start the ins- installation process okay once the installation is done just click on finish okay that's it so thank you for watching so once the installation is done you can just normally run your javascript uh, node js file that is your js file in your vs code itself. thank you for watching so i can subscribe for more videos so i'll be coming back with more videos based on the course okay thank you